Good morning, Huffington Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Muncy. Today, you'll hear a new Fun Fact Friday. We'll hear what you had to say for the question of the day, and you'll be searching around the school for our last Have You Seen This? But first, let's find out what's going on in the middle school with a minute with the principal. Good morning, everyone. I can't believe it's June 3rd already. We've had the unofficial start of summer this past Memorial Day weekend, and it certainly felt like summer. I was in the pool all day on Saturday. I don't know about you, but I am certainly ready for summer. This is a very busy time of year at HMS. So many wonderful and exciting things take place this week. We've had so many equally exciting things to look forward to. First, I would like to congratulate all of the students involved in the eighth grade concert on Wednesday evening. It is unbelievable to witness the growth all of you have made since sixth grade. As usual, it was a wonderful night for all. Bravo, my friends. I would also like to congratulate all of the Paquette team members on a remarkable, memorable, and moving elder tea. Each student worked so hard to honor their individual elder. In the past one year, I was lucky enough to be the recipient of this honor. I know your elders will forever cherish the speech you gave as well as the scrapbook you made for this occasion. The eighth grade seemed to thoroughly enjoy the performance of Shakespeare's A Midsummer's Night Dream. My only disappointment is the weather didn't cooperate to have the performance in the courtyard. We have so many things to look forward to. On June 7th, the sixth grade concert will be held and the seventh grade concert will be held the following evening on June 8th. I can't wait to hear the beautiful music you all create. The sixth grade field trip will be held on June 9th. Let's keep our fingers crossed for great weather. Finally, we will bid farewell to most of the eighth grade who will be in our nation's capital for what is sure to be a memorable trip. The eighth graders will be in Washington from the 10th to the 12th of June. I would also like to inform you of a couple of leadership opportunities. I just received notice of a Summer Community Leadership Empowerment Week to be held in Wayland, Massachusetts from June 27th to July 1st. This is free to all students at Hopkinton. You must be entering grades 7 through 10 to be eligible. It even includes a free lunch. Please contact me directly and I will give you the information. The second leadership opportunity is for students entering the seventh grade next year to be part of our mission and vision committee. And I mean the seventh and eighth grade students. On this committee, we will make important decisions that will guide the future of our school. If you want to make this the best middle school ever, please contact me via email. I look forward to hearing from many of you. Try your hardest, do your best, be kind to everyone you meet. Have a happy Hopkinton Hiller Day. Thanks a lot for that update. Now let's move on to the part I'm sure you've been waiting for. Question of the day. This time we asked you, what makes you happy? Here's your answers. Food. Video games. Going to school every day and seeing my friends. Miss Bate makes me happy, especially when she burns people in class. This is a bait. What's your name again? <laughs> Megan. Megan makes me happy. Eating lunch with Mrs. Daniel. I'd say playing hockey, um, eating pizza, and friends. friends. Dab. Dab. <laughs> Feeling the burn. Archie likes 22. <laughs> Bonnie friends. Chocolate. Friends. Miss Weiss. Bacon in summer. What makes me happy is food, because you can eat, and then all of your problems will be solved. Texting. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Shots. What I like is probably cheerleading, my phone, and we all know sleep. Oh, and McDonald's. <laughs> okay, what makes me happy? Cheerleading, my phone, sleep, and of course, Ashley Thomas. Meniscuses. What makes me happen, happy is chicken, hockey, and sleep. The art show makes me happy. Summer. Summer. <laughs> Drama. Drama. Food. Sports. Wearing a turban. What makes me happiest 
is actually coming to school in the morning and seeing all the bright faces and all the things that actually make all of us so happy to be here at Hopkinton and seeing all these bright, eager young people just happy to be here and happy to learn and so incredibly sweet and normal. Sour Sop, it kills cancer and it's also the best food ever. Random Disney movies. Food. Netflix. Talking to Miss Mercier and Mr. Sherritt. There are a lot of things to be happy about, but let's keep things rolling with the latest Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and happy Friday. This Fun Fact Friday is brought to you by Miss Hurl's Homeroom. Did you know that the average American eats around 250 eggs per year, which translates to the annual consumption of 76.5 billion eggs per year? You must be yoking. Nope. Did you know that the Guinness World Record for omelet making is held by Howard Helmer, who made 427 omelets in 30 minutes? <laughs> Did you know that a hen named Harriet laid the world's largest egg in 2010, measuring, measuring 9.1 inches in diameter? That's extraordinary. Did you know that the best way to tell if an, if an egg is raw or hard cooked is to spin it? If it spins easily, then it's hard cooked, and if it wobbles, it is raw. What an excellent fact. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Thank you for sharing that, and speaking of sharing, here's the answer for the latest Have You Seen This? It was the exit sign in the brown gym. We had a lot of correct answers, so congratulations to everyone who found it. And now, it's time to pick the winner. Sean Walker, stop by the main office after school to claim your prize. Now here's our latest photo for the school year. If you know where it is, send us an email at hmstv at hillers.org. That's all for this week, middle school, for HMS Today. I'm Jace Muzzy. Now get out there and study hard. <laughs>